question 10b a ship leaves port a this port a and sails 52 kilometers and a bearing of 0 44 degrees to port b that's port b right here the ship then changes course to sail to port c 72 kilometers away on a bearing of 105 degrees port c on the diagram below not drawn to scale label the known distances traveled and the known angles okay so we have our ports a b and c a ship leaves port a and say 52 kilometers to port b so that is 52 kilometers here on a bearing of 0 44 degrees we have our north line here right remember bearings are measured from the north in a clockwise direction you always use three digits to represent bearing so is you have to put the zero in front of the 44 to make it three digits can't put it can't put it after because you would be saying 440 degrees but once you put it before the 44 degrees still remain 44 just that it's written 044 it goes to port B now where's that bearing you measure it from the knot in a clockwise direction remember this is clockwise this would be anti-clockwise but this one is clockwise so you go this way and this angle is our 0 44 degrees all right to port B then the ship then leaves it then changes course to sail to port C it's from B to C and a bearing of 72 and a, um, 72 kilometers away B to C is 72 so this is 72 kilometers away let me write my kilometers here degrees and a bearing of 105 degrees so it's from north in a clockwise direction so you must go clockwise and it is 105 degrees it has passed um, 90 degrees here okay so on the diagram not drawn to scale label the known distances traveled and the known angles all right now that's it now part 2 says determine the measure of angle a b c now, a b c so what we want here is this angle angle a b c now let's see we want angle a b c we have here let's see if we can figure that out Have 105 degrees here A to C what we have here is 44 going straight up 105 if we could continue if we could continue a B using dotted lines it would continue like that you see that 
now it's, this here is 44 and let me project this upwards this here is 44 this angle corresponds to it so this must be 44 as well right now watch the rest of the angle it would be all of this would be the same 105 as this if we take 44 out of the 105 what we would have is 105 minus 44 which would be 61 degrees this angle would be 61 all right now A to B going right along the dotted line would be a straight angle so from here all the way back is a hundred and eighty degrees this part here if, if we take out this part we would get the 61 degrees that we had here 61 so what we have is that this angle right here would be 180 minus 61 degrees what is that 180 minus 61 that would give us 119 degrees right the measure of angle ABC so review that part ensure you understand it I identified this angle as 44 I I continue this line projecting out further so this must be the same 44 as this it correspond this up here this angle would be the same 44 as this angle and then <coughs> if I if I continue this angle right here all the way back it would be 180 right 180 this is 105 I take 44 out of the 105 and what I have left here is 61 degrees I take 61 cut it from the 180 what I have left here right along here would be 119 so ensure you understand that part so that is part b one and two